In this special episode of This is the Author, Library Love Edition, hear these authors and familiar voices share why the library holds such a special place in their hearts. Enjoy. Hi, this is Ruta Sepetis. My favorite thing about my local library is the strong sense of community that they've built over the years. Our library is like the heartbeat of our city, and that's where I originally met my writing group and where I met with my writing group, and so it's a really special place. Hi, this is Aurora James. My favorite thing about my local library in Brooklyn is that they have now allowed everyone across the country to get a Brooklyn library card. So if you're from a state that has banned certain books, you can still get a Brooklyn library membership and have access to those books. My name is Russell Moore. When I was a kid going to the library, the library in the city right next to ours, Gulfport, Mississippi. It was like going to Disney World. When one would walk through the front doors, there was a big koi pond on either side of the doorway. And inside, there was a big spiral staircase. And I could spend as much time as I wanted in that library. It was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina and has been rebuilt elsewhere. But every library I'm in, I think I judge it up against that Gulfport Public Library of my childhood. This is Hakeem Olusheyi. I love local libraries. I love having an actual, real book in my hand. I love going through the stacks and seeing what I can discover. That process for me, you know, it's almost like Christmas when you're opening a present. But instead, you know, I'm opening a section of the library and I'm looking at the titles of the books and just seeing what catches my eye. And I could just devour book after book after book. This is Esmeralda Santiago. My favorite thing about my local library is that it exists and that its librarians are courageous, brave people who are being challenged in ways that they never expected when they decided to do this very necessary work. They are right now my heroes. I love my local libraries, and to all of them, I'd like to say a very heartful, grateful thank you. This is Nejwa Zabian. My favorite thing about my local library is how at home I feel every time I go there. Like, if I'm having a bad day, that's the first place I think of going. If I'm emotional in some way, I just feel like it's like the bookshelves, like, hug me when I go in. I feel understood. I feel seen. Hi, this is Warren Zanes. My favorite thing about my local library, and I'm going to talk about the library I grew up with. This was in Concord, New Hampshire, the main library in town. And we were walking distance from it growing up. But at this library, and I have no idea how this happened, but you could get out books, you could get out records, and we did both of those things. But you could also get out taxidermied animals. You could get for instance, an owl or an otter, and bring it home for the weekend. I'm not sure I've heard of that happening at any other library. I'm confident that it doesn't happen still. But when we were kids, this was an amazing thing to go get, you know, whatever it was, the Great Brain books or Encyclopedia Brown, and also come home with a fox. This is Susan Casey. My favorite thing about my local library (laughs) is that it contains two of the things that I love the most, books and quiet. And like a lot of authors, I'm an introvert, so the idea of a space that's specifically dedicated to people sitting in silence and reading is sort of a nirvana for me. Looking at the shelves and all the books that are there and yet to be read by me I don't know. It's like a candy store, really. 
Hi, this is Timothy Egan. The thing I still love about my local library, and I have a century-old Carnegie Library in my neighborhood in Seattle, is the fact that I still have all these random encounters with authors, dead authors, living authors, authors in the form of books. I mean, that's one thing you don't have when you're searching for a book, say, on Amazon or something like that. But walk into a library and you're instantly drawn to certain shelves or books that are on display or things that were left open. I'm always drawn to like atlases that are half open or a book I never, ever would have considered looking at, but it's on a table or some place in the library. So I just love those random encounters you still have. This is Christian Cooper. The favorite thing about my local library is that it is directly across the street from Tompkins Square Park. So you have the whole glory of the park and the birds that visit the park right across from the library. And I love that. Hi, I'm Tori Maldonado. Some listeners may know this reference. There was a show called Cheers where Norm would walk in and immediately be greeted with, Norm! It really amplifies the best thing about places are the people. Every library that's worth its salt is filled with staff who are real-life superheroes, real-life members of Justice Leagues, and they transform the library into a fortress of solitude for each reader and make each reader feel superheroic in their own unique way. This is the Author is a production of Penguin Random House Audio. Thank you for listening. For more behind the mic content and audiobook recommendations, visit www.penguinrandomhouseaudio.com/nextlisten.